Happy Friday, Ranger Nation. You've been another week, so welcome to the Ranger Week in Review. The show that goes for everything that happened in the world of Power Rangers and took us out to episode 195. This week in your world of PR and Toku, uh, big, big stuff happening in the world of Power Rangers and comics and in the show. So stay tuned. We're talking about that, but later I'll let you know when you're going to be spoiled. Um, in Toku News, though, um, Revice has started to have a really cool thing about people going to jail about Ultraman figures. Yeah, it's going to be a fun show. So guys, kick back and relax. Few topics, big topics. The Ranger Rick interview starts right now. Not only did I injure my nail, I screwed up the scene. And I'm not, I can't open another one. Like, I don't need two open beers in front of me, which is, I have to edit this eventually. Anywho, I'm Ranger Liz, this is the show. Hi, welcome. We start with Power Rangers, we move on to Tokusatsu. If you are new, we got headers up there. I'm gonna have labels down there. Uh, subscribe if you enjoyed the show. Uh, hit the bell notification, yada yada. Let's get talking. Power Rangers and Toku News. So, starting with Power Rangers, here's the big thing. Dino Fury. It's back! Out of France! Ha ha! It's, um, sorry. To all of you French people who are helping us out a lot right now. So it's airing in France. And there's some stuff. And I'm going to talk about not super high level. I'm just going to kind of tell you, like, what's been going on. Uh, the Gold Ranger has been seen so far. Uh, an old villain came back. And we're gonna talk about Izzy. Okay, so yeah, oh, and there is a, another side to Void Knight, as a lot of us were wondering. You get to see, but we're not, we're gonna talk about that. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna talk about that at the, pretty much the last show. I'm gonna uh, end with, we got some Ultraman news this week, talk about the Ultraman news, and then we're gonna dive back into a bigger dive about Power Rangers, Dino Fury, the international stuff. And of course, Izzy, because it's a really big news story, but it's also kind of a spoiler. You might already know what I'm talking about. That took long enough as it is. We're moving to some comic news. I'll see you at the end of the show for the rest. In comic news this week, uh, Mighty Morphin issue 11 came out, and it is a big, big one. The Altarian War, Power Rangers, and the New Allies, the Altarian Guardians, prepare to rescue Candace from Lord Zed. Yeah, Zed. He's showing up everywhere lately, right? Right. Eh? Well, old loyalties and rivalries lead Zordon and in turn the Power Rangers into ruin, or will they be able to right the wrongs of the past and save Earth in the process? So go ahead and check that out. It is out now, and uh, there's also a little thing in the end of it, which I, I will be spoiling, but there's another reason people were really excited. In Mighty Morphin issue 11, uh, not much in merch news, just a few quick things. Uh, Tengas are starting to ship out from like Hasbro Pulse, so if you got one of those pre-orders then start checking your email. Also, I think more delays, <laughs> just more delays on Lightning Collection figures. It's just crazy. You know, COVID, shipping delays. I don't even know if it was a joke or not. Someone said the, the canal got blocked again. And at this point in the world, I don't know if that's a joke or not. But I had too much other issue going on in my head. I ain't even gonna look it up. If it's trending on Twitter later, I will find out if it's real or not. So yeah, shipping delays everywhere. Uh, another thing is that Dino Fury, if you're getting the Zords, some people are already starting to get them. They're finding them. Uh, reviews are starting to go up. So give them a look if you're wanting to get them. Red is already, you could get the pre-orders and stuff up, but now on Amazon you can get your pre-orders in for the blue and black uh, pack and the pink and green pack. So if you want to help support the channel through Amazon and whatnot, I'll have all the affiliate links down there or just do it yourself, but I have links to all of them. They're 20, it's like $28.97 or so for each two pack, and then that's the same price as the red. So you're looking at $90 for a, God, wow, $90 for the Dino Fury Megazord. Uh, you know, we we had to, oh, God, they're freaking expensive. And I don't know if you're going to believe me, it's actually about it in the world of Power Rangers this week because everything is going to Dino Fury, which is later. So we're going on to some Toku news already. And this story, there's so many elements to it. I love it. This is the one where really, grab your drink. This is one of those, like, it's a story, but it's a story, right? Three men have been arrested for production and sale for fake Ultraman figures. 
Yes, I love it. Uh, so three guys in China were arrested on September 2nd for the sale and production of fake Ultraman figures. And it wasn't just like a handful, right? It's a ton. They were doing produced figures for Orb, Dar uh, Ultraman Dark, Ultraman Tiga, and more of them. When they found it, there were more than 5,000 figures on the factory floor. A factory, 5,000 figures, three people arrested. I don't know what, I mean, it figured it would take more than three people to do all of this, but I have no idea. Uh, they had also produced 70 million yen worth of fake figures. I, wow. So that's crazy enough as it is that somebody's like pumping up this big production for Ultraman figures. I am in the wrong market, apparently. So there's that. But then, how, you're like, okay, how did this happen? Oh, oh, we're ready for this one. Story time! <clears throat> it's my news announcer voice, right? My desk is very hollow, by the way. It's from Ikea. And if you're wondering how the police caught the suspects, they were first led for tips from fans, from people who were buying the figures. Apparently a group of men living in Shanghai met up to compare figures, noticed that the glue on the fakes was weak, and that the hips did not rotate correctly. <laughs> Gotta give it to fans, man. Gotta give it to fans. We're like, no! Huh, these figures are wrong. These are not wrong. After realizing the figures were fake, they reported their discovery to the police department. Then the department tracked all of it down, and that's why. They got caught doing fake figures because the people buying them figured out what was going on and tipped off the police. Bravo! This, this is to you men in, uh, in Shanghai figuring this out on behalf of everybody who does not want to buy counterfeit fake figures. One, uh, not cool. Two, not good quality. So, uh, here's to you. Thank you very much for getting our fake Ultraman orb figures off of the streets. Net. Okay, now we're going on to some common writer news. Uh, Revice has started, and I really do not have much to say because I have not watched episode one. My life is just, I have not gotten to watch it. Watch a lot of Marvel movies lately, but not Revice. It's just, uh, I am going to watch it. I know some people are on the fence. Whether you want to watch it or you're not, that's your own decision. I'm not going to say either way where what I think uh, I, I will be at least starting to watch it. I've never not watched a Kamen Rider since I've started watching Rider. I've never not watched a season or an episode. I've literally watched every episode of the season. It's just what I do. So I'm going to watch it, but I don't know. I don't know, I've seen, rev I honestly haven't even seen many reviews of it, so that's, I guess, that's where that is. Uh, talking about Saber, though, we got the uh, Kenzen uh, Ninjaden official images out for that one. He's going to be a January uh, 2022 release, 6,600 yen. It is a premium Bandai web exclusive, and I mean, it's cool, it's whatever. It also comes with the Distat Alter Ride book. It's like, like that, that was... That was the one that got me. <laughs> Who would have thought the character I ended up being the most attached to was the 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 stat? I don't know. Just but yeah, that ended up by the end. I was like, that's good. That's good. I like that. Anywho, you get the Ultra Ride book and a set of interchangeable hands. The muffler can be removed again. 6600 yen. January release into uh, older Toku or older writer. Doubles Futo PI anime project. Yeah, we got it for we got some images of it. It looks so good. I'm so excited uh, to watch this, and it is expected to come our way. Uh, still got a ways to wait. Summer of 2022. It is going to be a direct sequel to Kamen Rider Double. Okay, so it's basically the manga that came out, but it is now an anime. Oh my glob! I'm I'm very very excited to see that one. Forza is celebrating its 10-year anniversary last week and this week or whatever. And uh, one of the big things that were revealed is the DX and not a Shiko driver. So it was kind of revealed and then I got a little bit more information out about it because pre-orders are 
Omens, apparently the first time this driver has ever been made available. It is going to be a premium Bandai Web exclusive. But wait! I have more information for you. Our good friends over at Team Common Rider let us know that it is going to be made available in North America uh, through their distribution. I've looked uh, like I looked on Common Rider's Bluefin store. I don't see it up yet. It is up for pre-order on Premium Bandai if you want. Set for a February 2022 release. It's gonna, uh, pre-orders, which are gonna be ending on October 12th. Cost is gonna ring you at 8,800 yen. Yeah, Premium Bandai Web exclusive or just wait a little bit and then you can get your pre-order from Team Common Rider. So there you go and have it shipped directly from America because it's a lot faster. Honestly, that way. Once, well, it's not fast. It's, you know what? It's fine. You, you know what I'm talking about. We're going to move over to some Sentai stuff. In some Sentai news for Zen Kaiser, we got the Dark Sentai Gear set has been announced and pre orders for it are up. It's going to run you 6,000 yen coming out in January of 2022. Don't have the actual cost on that yet, sorry about that, uh, but I can assume quite a bit. The gears have purple finish on the outer ring with a silver finish on the emblem. Again, premium Bandai web exclusive set. Uh, more information and stuff, Tokusatsu Network down below. In some ultra -ran news this week, uh, about some figure arts for SC3 King Joe Storage Custom. Yeah, it's a really long word, right? It's the King Joe Storage Custom from Ultraman Z. It is uh, 8,500 yen set for a March 2022 release. Premium Bandai Web Exclusive. It's... It's like the same with all of them. It's using that like light studio, light sculpt studio, light sculpture studio. You know what? We're leaving that one in. Uh, it's really cool. Just, you can swap King Joe's uh, left arm with like the hammer arm. That looks like it's really expensive. I clearly will not be getting it, but it looks really cool. And I will eventually catch up on Trigger. While I'm getting Trigger, how about Ultraman Antigua? Because it's now streaming online for the first time in Subiara Imagination. So it's not, you know, free per se, but it's getting there uh, where you could, like, buy it. Does, does Liz, future Liz, let me know if Mill Creek already just has it for sale, right? Thank you. But more information if you want to check that out uh, for Yuki to see. And now we have to talk some Dino Fury. Woo! Okay, so... Okay. Where do I even begin with some of this? This is going to be the not really spoilery, but I'm going to kind of get you up to date with what's basically happening so far. It's in French. Obviously, I do not speak French. Uh, so, you know, lots of screen grabs and stuff. Clearly, don't do anything illegal or whatever. I mean, I'm not your mom, but if you want a little update, here you go. So here we go. Uh, Void Knight is a, a guy, I guess, a humanoid, Andrew, I, I'm not really sure. Uh, seems to be a guy inside the suit. We saw a face. Fun thing, it's actually the same guy, apparently, who played um, Calvin, uh, Yellow Ninja Steel, whatever. He was going to quit high school to become a mechanic. It was that guy. It was the mechanic. Apparently, he's back for this. So, hey, great job. Congratulations on, like, really impressing the, the bosses and, and getting a callback. Uh, I don't have any other information on him about that. I am trying to stay relatively spoiler-free myself, but so that is the thing. Um, the Gold Ranger apparently appeared in an episode that aired on Thursday, so he has now at least shown up. Uh, yeah, the rumors about Lord Zed uh, are true. He came back for a Halloween episode, I believe, and he had like a compliance collar. I saw the stills of him. He has like a compliance collar on him, so I'm not 100% sure how that works. And, uh, oh yeah, Izzy, our Green Ranger, is the first ever gay, uh, Power Ranger on the television show. I'll make sure that I add on the television show. That happened, and wow, uh, that was cool. Uh, I'll just get ahead of a few things right now. Uh, it shouldn't be a big deal, and you shouldn't be freaking out about it, because it should just be a part of a normal thing. You're right, it should be a part of a normal thing, but it's not, and that's why it has to be celebrated, because, you know, it's never happened in 28 seasons. Uh, no, you don't have to feel, you don't have to, like, see someone on TV to feel validated about yourself. It's not like, oh, man, you have to see someone gay on TV. I've seen, I've seen a lot of criticism about it this week. Uh, so what happened, basically, there was an episode, we'd gotten some rumblings, we'd heard, you know, Izzy's gonna really send shockwaves and stuff, and, um, we're from Simon Bennett, like, episode 13's his favorite, and we're like, okay, you know, what's happening in episode 13? Got the episode descriptions, it was like the matchmaker. 
Javi's trying to play matchmaker and so basically it's they're doing a practice and he notices that Izzy's you know her hair's a little different she smells a little nicer you know kind of like more dressed up and he's like you know he realized after the fact like wait it's for someone sees her go over and start doing drills with this guy and being in a really great mood thinking she likes him and how it happens I mean yeah I'm gonna have to do I probably will do a full video on it or so but it comes out in the end she was getting ready to go on a date with Fern who we actually met in episode like four uh, it was the one about the race, and she ended up giving up the race to, like, help the chick, and hey, it's that chick, so great. Hey, this is why you're always nice to believe in your rivals, you know? You can turn into liking them. And, uh, it was, it, it wasn't said, it, it was action, and yeah, actions will speak louder than words, and when they realize, oh, she's going with, you know, they look, and they see Izzy reaching out and grabbing Fern's hand, and it wasn't like a front, it was like a, Aw, like cute, and she puts her head on her, and they wave and stuff, and you're like, <laughs> they didn't have to say it, they just showed it. It didn't have to be a big deal. It was a funny, I mean, it could have been anyone and switch any other gender roles, and it was just an episode of Power Rangers. You know, it was a silly, moral ranger stepped in where he shouldn't have, it's a normal thing of Power Rangers, but uh, to a lot of people, it wasn't normal. And whether you fall on the the crying because uh, you know you're you're so blubbering happy or people saying I'm never watching this show again first off I don't really care if you never watch so again if that's your attitude because you're literally watching people on rainbow colored spandex so I think overall it was very very positive there were a lot of great messages from people and I wasn't really gonna do much of a, a video or whatever about it which now I guess I probably will uh because it means a lot to me it really does as someone who <laughs> dated girls in high school and literally dealt with the same exact scenarios i don't know about you but i actually like my stomach was tightening like i felt that you know when, like you watch a character and you identify with them so much and what they're going through you feel uneasy. You just feel like, oh god, I feel like I'm 17 again, and I'm dealing with somebody at like snooping into, sh like, why do you look like this? Are you going on a date or whatever? And then in the end, you know, you just go off and I grab my girlfriend's hand. And I'm like, toodles, and they're like, <sighs> true story, folks. So why, you know, like that's legit. By the way, if you're my family members and you didn't know any of the past about that for me, because you're on my husband's side, that was. The, the past of me. I've said, and, and I'm saying this. You want you want to come at me? What about what about the kids? I have a kid. She's four and a half. She doesn't care. She legit will probably go. Oh, that's nice. Like she doesn't give a crap. She was playing her figures the other day, and she kidnapped. Uh, I had to take it away because I was afraid she was gonna break it. She has Zed and uh, and Rita's wedding thing, and she was pretending that Amelia and Zoe were getting married. Cause she had their action figures, and I'm like, that's cool. You know what he's talking about? I mean, she's just like, okay, people get married, get married. People want to date, like, she's just, not a big thing. Kids don't care. They're just going to be like, neat. But there is going to be a kid out there who does really care because they're going to see that, wow, yeah, I could still be a Power Ranger. And that means a big thing. And you know what? I'm, I'm not going to go more of that. I think I want to talk more about it, but that's going to be a video for another day. But it was a big... It was definitely a big shockwave, and that was just from the fans. You know, if you stay in Dutch with, with the news, as it happens, that was, was what, Tuesday afternoon, or Wednesday afternoon, or whatever it was, and then it's going to come out again in English, and so we actually get to hear it with the actress's voice and stuff in, you know, two weeks, and then it'll finally come out on Nickelodeon on um, October or something, who knows. But there'll be a lot of waves of this, and uh, and I hope it's a, it's a happy wave, and, and I hope a lot of people are happy with it. And if you're not, it's one character in 28 seasons, you can eat it. Like, that's... I'm probably... I have to edit that out now. I mean, I'm not going to actually edit it, I just have to censor myself, because, you know, but... Yeah, that's about it. You know what? Thanks to my Patreons for helping make this and all videos possible. I super duper appreciate it. Uh, help get me through. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a great weekend, folks. I'm gonna go to a 
funeral on Saturday for my aunt, passed away of COVID. Please get your vaccines. If you take care of anyone who's old, get your vaccines because they can't get out. They're relying on you to not give them COVID. So, yeah, do it for my aunt Mona. Get your shot. All right, you know what I told you today? I love you and I think you're awesome. See you at the next video. Toodles.